ያልተከት ዮሐን የቀይ የቀይ ሃጢ ዓጢ የአዋህ ቅሽ ቆአይ ሃጢ ወስኩ ጫ ዩቀተንጊ አያተ ሸይኺ ወንቀኒንስ ያ ጽሃ ዩቀተንጊ ዳድ ዩቀተ ሰአት ጊጥ ቃቂናህ አጭበ ቅሽ ተስቅደን ከህቲ ሹቅ ከህቲ የአዋህ ha yuqatangi qahtu shakuq ha yuqatangi ya wa akhtu wa sakuq a singita ya tasayekhi tiktak we dekh ya gik shukwa a yuqatangi ha in aya kagakhi nik a ya wa heswa sakqati qashakati sewqaqu qas tashkitin yin khakhuni ki wasat khakhuni so uh, i just want us to be in the practice of every tuesday bringing five or more sentences it's kind of a string of things if uh somehow i didn't explain that very well or if it was just forgotten or for whatever reason you might not have it it's fine we'll just remember every tuesday you're going to bring uh a pack of pickled sentences um, <laughs> and that's how we'll start and sometimes we'll try to launch into sort of feel free to respond in thinkit or add something to it if you want to the goal with this is to just create more language use opportunities because sometimes if you just talk about a language in what is sort of the socially dominant language so in our case if you just talk about thing it a lot in english people will know about it but they won't master it and so we're going for mastery uh so that's kind of what we'll do is sometimes there'll be uh lists of things or different kinds of activities that I'll we'll be thinking about for the thursday class and I'll try to let you guys know uh towards the end of class what's coming up so that you know what kinds of things to prepare for and i think maybe what we should think about is next thursday uh not this coming thursday but the thursday after having some our first kind of dialogue exercise i know we had talked about uh teaming up and making these little dialogues together that we could share and then maybe just sort of developing uh throughout the semester like a, just a little book of sample dialogue exercises and don't feel like you've got to do the stuff uh on your own don't feel like you've got to be able to craft all of this yourself give it a shot feel free to to ask about it in class feel free to ask about it um in between classes and I'll make sure that I'm doing my best to get feedback to you if and when we start getting into complicated narratives So the other thing is we got to start fairly simple right because once we start really tying things together with multiple causes and effects and times and other things like that it gets really difficult and it's fine to get that way uh but just remember uh it's okay to start small but you know think of day to day stuff that is going to be useful for folks to know how to say to for you things that you might go about your daily life and think oh yeah i wish i knew how to say this oh yeah i'd love to talk about this because we're going to create that world where everything that we want to talk about we'll be able to do that in so uh, I think it was a phone buzzing. It took me a second. So, uh, yeah. No pressure, no worries. Just uh share what you've got and whoever wants to go first, we'll just start with that. I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. like <laughs> the two screen share yeah yeah oh, 
Okay. Hey. Hey, Gas, Gatnik, Aya, Eska, a Kausichit. Uh oh, okay. Move my screen here. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Gas, Gatnik, Aya, Da, Wekit. Oops. Jade, I had no. It sounds weird. The sound is. I'm trying to mute everybody except you, and I accidentally muted you. So let's try it again and see if we get the bounce back. Okay. Okay, I'll start with this. This is the first page, anyway. A gas technique aya da wekate ruby dear you do a sock. Clot lab awe cut connach linux. Cluck yagi kidledi park as kadus yadi ye kunag as kunach yat. Kuch eight a dark ul kate Kake a yikt Wanganins yan u hoot It dach kunach u dachwet at a wen nate u at ka u sight du tu wusi gu yakate hoot I think there's some there's probably some mistakes I really kind of delved into the verb dictionary and tried to find some verbs I didn't know so I just threw them in there okay no uh, yeah these repetitive forms just like a yata was it dach was who are yeah shukwa ah a it dach away yata just yata aya just a dear it dach ah yata this it ka 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 a dakasa a to us a goo yet a good a good at we a yuk a tunk it a ye. Okay, then she's claim that should go in a book. Oh, look at these pictures. I was thinking I could make a little picture book for my kids and huh? make it a little even simpler than that, but still tell the story of, of, of my dog, of KG. <laughs> okay, get for tea and put it on the web for our class. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wa way ach to us a go way uski huko ayak ach to say ye he a joe has a ku ach a has to to us a go has to yet key ke has a wadi has ha you a tongue eat him has to see ko a way at cuts go huko shed kiats go ka yet a quats go Kunakhawe Akhua Ya Tesh Shkunde Anna Atji Ya Awa Akhtuasaku Ya Kuk Kosani Wutusa Yech Hasuji Yes Aka Awe We Kata Kaka Ish We We Has to Yetki in Aya Kina Has Kakwatu Ya Awa Akhtuasaku Ajoe Yata Tahunak Yak E what he to walk you to a guess a go where Uski cook it a year he cake walk a yeah what I eat a cup what did she got he to walk you to a guess a go 
يا وان قنينز جس وي بي دي اف هات واسكو وي كاشو كوكو قش اتشكوت كينسا كاكخت اق وي اوسكي كوك كاخت شي يخ يا هيت كي قا ها ان اخ وشنجت قا ان اخ جيس يك اي اتخاقو ا ادوسا Okay, if if two people are together and they're using computers, I'm not sure if that's what's going on, one has to be muted okay. and like, the the volume as well. I don't know the volume might have to come out of only one computer or some I'm not sure there might be that might be the source of the the bouncing around although early when we were first trying all this trying to get like web classes going uh, we had this really big echo and cheat woo Joe Binger it was his turn to to go and he's got a pretty deep voice and then he started laughing because it was stuck in a loop. <laughs> then it was this big booming like <laughs> laughter that just kept repeating. It was actually kind of scary, but it was pretty funny too. Okay. So Tuk has a document too. Okay. Can I ask? Yeah, she has a slideshow also that I sent to you in that same email. There you go. Can you mute yours, Duffy? Um, Betty Kachu Duncan, ach, ide. Gah, gah, da she. Ka, kasli suku pleok jello, sinuksi sakne, ach tuasi gu kunach. Ach ik kunach du tuasi gu tsu. Wan genis you hat, ach. Ya Wusk Yes Cha Quat Ginsa Ye Yana Kate Who eats the end? Who eats the end? What? Cha Cha Quat Ginsa do eats the end. I don't have that. Sorry. Cha Quat Ginsa Ye Yana Kate Kunach Ach. Eh, yuck, eh. Dewa. Good cheese, good cheese. Yuck, eh, cheese. Get away, the next is there's no shut in there. You okay? It's a cock or a deuce. It's cheese, you hon, Yats Gaelic Sach Shuatina Awaka Shuatin Ishitse
trying to, sh to share oh, the screen. Oh, come. Um, yeah. Yeah, there. Uh, 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 Shua Ting, uh, uh, Chinna. Uh, 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 move it around a little bit, if you would. Yeah, uh, 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 Shuatin Awaka. Okay. Ya sa. Um, Hun Ya yes. Hun Ya yes. Shuatin Awaka. Hun yes. Ya yes. Ah, uh, ho u. Yeah, what? Uh, uh, two. On, yeah, the tea. Okay. Uh, Ka tu wu sat a yah Akiti yati yasa a kusa at tu Sagedi awo kunak yak e kua a kao a kao kunak Oh. 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 Yeah, you Uh, I was trying to put it in the slide, but I didn't get it. Can you hear me? Oh. Um, I had made some pictures. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the first one is a picture of my children. Ha yak yak e aya has ash kuch yit. I don't know if I said that right. And then I have a picture of my mother. Ah, kla aya du tu wu sigu. And my son carving. Ha yit aya kadach ah ich city. And I only had three sentences. <laughs> okay. Huh. Don't cheese claim. I'll do mine. I'm gonna get mine over. Now. Okay. Okay. Take one minute. Okay. Go us.
have the puppets again. Oh, you can. Dasa ye da ine. Ye dat kahasne. Astak wati. Adu dat jiyis. Ach jiyis. Oh, you can. Guswe kle. Clash, whoops, uh, this is Gooseway Clake. Clash Clake. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> sakes. Gastine. Ke wuk e. Ach tu wu sigu. At kas ne ach jiyis. Chas kagach ne ach jiyis. Ishan. Ah. Okay, Kunach Kusiat Shakte Tatin Kasegan Ayakwadan Gan Aga Achjiwu Nechte Kwagud Gunachis. Yak eh, Yak eh, Ak koa haji hakak ayakusi ad takaku was kelkin kelkus ad yak ekakusi adi away is a ku with a kaku uu yak eka uk eko eat a koa do sa tuk 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 this is from King Geste, David Katzik, Shalom Kady. Ade Latsini, yeah. Ye awe de yaka. Ye do ayahuan. Kusti Latsi nuch. Kleske edalit. Yeah, well. Okay, cheese. Okay, Mabel Fred, Ka David Howard, Yedu Sagun, Dukla, Ka Du Ish, Esther Kadash, Yedu Sagun, Du Yegwe Deshi Tank City on Gunk Duck Kadin Shinke Yukatangi Ausiku Gays Yanaksa Queen A Kesh Yahai Achi Kua Kesh Yachiti do Shahabu. Which way? Your cake and cheese. Your cake. Ah. A cartoon sech yagi hut on kustin kayate at quaha gach kitch. Tom Brady aya wad clock. Ju shugu slurd ak at. Tak Achtu Asinik. Oh, he shall. I was trying to say I watched the Super Bowl on Sunday, but I didn't know the word for super, so I just said giant bowl. Oh, you can. Who cares? Yeah, well, Katech of Kawawasi, Tom Brady. You can, because it's cheese. Yeah, it's okay. Was ich die Dei kuu, da du sa die Tuasse gu. Hat sie ja auch ge?
Yuck a Satini, so a Doc Un Hanak, a Tles Yadu Hut, Ka Intermediate Clinket, YouTube Kayo Dahai, Kosatin Yadu Hut, so Northwest Coast Basketry, Wush Kana Hutudi Ot, Achtla Kahat, Dolores Churchill, Ye do a sock, Haku at Latu. Kak hosle ye hoshi gook. Ti wu di hoa ak kak suck. Hai da yis ach ach tla a ak hat yes. Stuka ye hat ye ti. Gunnus chishawe. Eh, gunnus chish. The ak. The ak ye do a sagu at ya kasne. Was we cocaine tin we test a die tea tea tin aya ka we hai ka slag de awa da ak ye do a sag at gus cock da ak cock da ak a ti awe ya Dolores ka de kina yuk a tungi au shagook. Ya awe ha in a kawanik de kina enach ya a tunk dot a tunk haya ye do a sago at a steak a shoon nak a tunk. A joe tana ye do a sago ah we jishaguni ye yadi tuch tuch ye yadi at wash ye satin ye we ha ina kawani du tla ya na kaka ayaku a tunk a tunk oe wu good kehas au saku and wasashege wasashege aya we knock. A joy has our satin do a wool. A die would he a new who. Ha in a cow and a kuna has to to us a goo. Yan has our sane a ya has to nately. A coo ye do a sag a tusty nately. A joy jadasa has a ha a new who. Gandhi has has our hitch. Ye away got his satin. Nach a yard to die, ye would he. Yak a wool, a wool, a gade o saku. Yak a gay ah. Yatana tin, carcassa were ton. Ye away we knock. Was a hassay a sack. Was he secured knock a yaki a go ah, a he's a new go. We knock, Connachoe, Jack, Jack, or Hock, a ya to take it in. Has Connach, our shagook, hoa. Ya to kegu, has our shashat, a rat to eat a hayas, ours at. Get tight cock in a ha in a cowanic inside out the way, yes, to toss a good yas out the knee. Ya a ku at a two, a kumu. Hawaii, Larry Kamura do in Kahwani Gada. It's a ah, ha, achla, achla ausakun. A day e ausane, ye do cake good duck away, I was eighty, we knock. Hako, ha, it was a coo. It was a teen, just the cut ach, ach gin data, ye was jik joke ach. Ye awe hua hua we nak dat ka tana ye do a sago at we nak kek a ka a tunk ye do a sag we nak a shoon. Yak eh? Cheesh. The eti a a do sa. Just ich di de ku ye hua ha a do sa do to us go. Kaya Apu. 
Okay, cheese. Yeah, we each dot a ya. Uchin has put the gal. Ya Tadakasa, we cartan. A ditch sa has a ya with glarky, has to shunt a honey gursati. A jaway, we could not a shakit a ya ye away. Ah, we tan. No shaka kawu ye do a saku at we tachlazini ah. Gwash. We each a yana rea y kuhu ka a de ich den yisitin was a do to wook shake. Tako kinde a ya ye has a na yana in we tan shut the honey. Ye a waka yisitin one canins has to do kadaye a tea. Ya teach. Ach away has to hack what has in has put the cow, cock away, which in has our our tuck. You gave good cheese. So, okay, what's what's here? What's here? Ilteniha <laughs> Ha ite di shi e Can you hear us? Ah. Ya rachun ayat um yak e yuksatini to get you on. Uh askani tes kosiku singit you katangi. Uh charye cooking singit you katangi. Singit you katangi. Um singit you katangi. Yen Hoshakuk um Gunish Chish Ach Eat Idishi Yashinkit Yukatangi Tin Gunish Chish Yak Echa She's claim. I can't look at. Can't look at. Because the it is also a dosa. Ah. 
Okay. Ja, Zitat Dakwakara Dach Kwan Lin Kwan Lin Kwakuk Ka Kwak Khatin Du Khus Hast du Siat Ka Du Tidi Kusi Kusiat Kwak Ya Ka Du Yakati Du Tidi Ka Du Yak Shaklige Punach Ach tu yak e khatini yu gok. Ya ya gu. Punach chish yak e yik satini shiftakat yuhan. Which way? Punach chish. Yak e gok aga. Nach yag e ye chus tini. Llikad ye awe nag ad se si ad e heini. Ye has has tich kwan link. Jad lag awe ha tidit yu has llywa guk ya tad yin. Kan yag yati has du cha wu. A awe ye chwaji we gach nag ad se ch. Has to eat uwa ha yi ishan dach hut. Okay, can you cheat? Yeah, we we kach she a dehini a has to hut layam has to show lehik we nagas e kush kach kuh yeah we. Has to Uhan Yawa well Yishan Kah Yawa has for Dit Yeh Ka Kaya Kaya Kanish Chi Shuhan Wukha So Kay Kwat Play Hooch. Tlaelihin Chateya Chateya Juan Tlaen Juna de Achtuati Achuni Caroline Chande Yan Gut Yan Chagut Yan Chagut Tlingid Immersion Ka Tzik Disi Tuk Kejin Ah Sik disi tuk jin kat kake jin through jin kat kadaha dushu UAS. Yuk awa. Gonna choose. Yuk awa. What's a teen? Ah, so yuk what's a teen? Yeah, naski gir anach wush kanach kartu da art. Sik disi. Ye awa ya ya a da da ya kone ye jitu ne khat ka kastin ka ka kwaask ye awa hatu wasaku kol ya da khun jin kat nakh ha ina kawane kastu tu wasaku atu nakh ya hasa ya wa aadi ya akhtu ya kye khun nakh a da Ya dach a aya ye kakwasti Kek a wushuk a dutla atk Dech a Tlingit shtutl tu Ye awa a daad yu Yu tu tutla aad Ha tu wasagu Akhu a Gwaltjus gwne Tlingit shtu hasal tu Ye awa ha tu wasagu 
Tlingkich tu dil tu wu ye Tkudza ti Has tu kagi yes Akhu a Qone ya Has a ya nashku kayu khatangi Has tu ji yes a ya Ha tu wasagu Ya ha Yandishani a Ya tlingit au shagu gu in Ha tu wasagu jas wuj in Yu khatil atki Ye awa Ya Tlingit yu khatil atki Ka idei ka gaktu nik Tlait tlait khaq inach jas tlingit Ya We tlingit tu dil tu wuqo a hel wa sa ka kwa ti Ka ka kwa aq Kwa l Wait, sa yach ka taan Has ya nas ein Has ya nas ein Ye awa Gwallu haan su ha tu wasagu Ya llingit ghinach Gwall Wan ghaniens Yinde Kandu wu khaq Aga kinde Ya A id jaguta ko a Wushu khadutla adgi Ha tu wasagu Jwe wa yadu we a Hint ha, hint ha de aya, yas kashniki tin, wan kanin zi na tich, hint ha gaya, ana gudj. Ye awa hatu wasagu we da yach. Ye awa, wuj in ko a wuj i gachtu dishi, wuj in ye ja gachtu ne. Ye awa adat yu khaw tutla aad tzu. Hatu wasagu jaltakat kha khoa du sa, tu wasagu. Ha in ye ju wunni yi. Khuk a kakh has kakakh tu shakhi tas tu sa yi. Ye awa has ye khu yaw sa kha. Ja tul an tin kha khu sa kha. Gwal cha gud kha khu kakh wa aq. Has has wul la chunni. Gwal has du tu wu wul khu la chunni. Ye awa nil te kakh wa gud. Wan qanin sa yu khatangi daad bush kanak wutu da aadi. Ya qa nik deyn aya. Ya qaddu wa qa. Kalhatu wa ushku. Ya a daysi ya khyati. Ya ha yu khatangi. Da ye jitinni yi ya. A joy ha tu wa saku. Jua ya gya ha lil ko has ha in khsati yi. Jo yal te kat ha da jchan ki yan ha yin cha sa ti yi. A jo we jas tut la an ka khusa khan ha teg tu de a ya kach tu u. Ya awa ka gach tu aq. Tal ha tu wa ush tu jya kudach a ya we ku ya wa aqu ya kaats a ti tleg. Aqu a wu tu su ku wan ka niins we Kha tu wu aya aw sa nik. A jwe tlal tul an. Ha yu gha tangi daad yi jiddu ni yi. Tlal ha tu wa ashko yi daad. Jal da khat kha khu a du sa du tu wa sa gu ha yu gha tangi ha su tu ye tu ti yi. Ye kwa ti. Ka gach tu aq. Gwa sa tu wu ya nik. Jas ha in ka nu nik. Ye awa ka gach tu aq. Yi yi tu wu gach tu sa ni yi. Ye wa a daad yu tukhwa tang wa sa ha tu wa sa gu yand e ya yand e ka qi a jwe jas ka gach tu aq ka khuan ish ka jaq ti wa sa a daad yu has kaw la adgin wa daad a ti nikh sa ha ya ti kal ka wu ju wa ya Jai wuj in ye jai gach tu ne yi. A qa awe. Llil zi dain. Llin git. Ye gach tu dla qi. Ye awe. Ye awe. Ach. Ye kuge ya ya ach yu khatang gi yi dat. Just to make sure. I want to cover some of that stuff. Because it's important. One is. Everybody's welcome to. To this immersion that's going to happen. We've already we've started planning what we're going to do. Uh, we've been promoting the dates and and we're starting to figure out the structure. We have about 40 people who've signed up for it and said they want to come, which is great. 
but we also realize that we want to divide into two basic sections, which we're calling conversations and uh, learning. So if, if someone's at a stage, and, and so we'll let people just decide where they want to go. Uh, where the conversations are, that's where we're going to try and keep our master speakers and just all sing it all the time. There will be times when we're doing stuff together, meals and some other things where we might relax the rules a bit, but the, the biggest rule is, you know, when we say think it only, it's think it only. Then the other one is lessons where there'll be times where English is fine, because for some folks they might feel a little overwhelmed. And we want to make sure that people know that we're creating these learning opportunities as well. It might be something, if it's something you've seen before and that you feel like you already know, then you can maybe just jump over to the conversations. And then uh, if the conversations, if your brain's getting tired, you might just go to the lessons because then even if you know it, it's something that you can, you can handle, right? So it's like a, the way a sea lion swims, they put their head out of the water. So, um, they call it Yanas Ain, which could also mean like going along, peeking over something. Uh, and then in addition, we, we sort of talked about the issue of kindness and love and respect and we all recognize that sometimes uh, we operate uh, kind of without those things for whatever reason there's lots of reasons trauma uh, other other things like that but we figure everybody who comes is going to sign a piece of paper that just says here's what we're going to do uh, that way if someone's telling you to speak english you're not going to get too mad about it because that, that has happened before but we just want to say it's okay. It's okay if people get uh, grumpy. Took a hint. We we had to look that word up yesterday. <laughs> and uh, and it's okay. But we want to just sort of make sure that we feel like we're a team. Everybody's comfortable. Everybody's welcome. We're we're making the the most of our time together, and also that people can just sort of read this document that says. When, we, when we're in Clinkit, you're going to do your best to stay in Clinkit. Uh, and when we're doing our work together, we're not going to hurt each other. Because there are, have been times in the past where people have been uh, pretty, pretty harsh, and I would, I would say pretty cruel. And we're, we're not going to sort of, uh, we want everybody to be there. But we want also there to be some accountability. So some of the things that I've seen is inappropriate behavior of uh, uh, sometimes a male will put a female in, a, in an uncomfortable situation utilizing probably social power that they have and we want to sort of be aware of that and say inappropriate behavior could result in just being sent home for the day. I've also seen people yell at people at these gatherings in a very cruel way. I've seen, seen it. What's that? You've seen it. Um, yeah. But usually, most commonly, they'll switch to English. Uh, but I've also seen it in Clinkit where I'll be talking about something, but I'm really hurting somebody's feelings. And so the, the big thing is if you're deliberately hurting someone, we want to have a way to put a stop to that because my experience is in the past, we've, we haven't stopped it. And so it's, it's resulted in people that I know who have probably walked away from Clinkit and, and won't be back. Mm -hmm. and so, Could there be a drama of that? I mean, you know, a invented situation where people are at each other's, are butting heads, but then demonstrate a way to work it out. It would be good. I think it would be, I think we need to learn how to debate in the, and to disagree in Clinkit, which I think is completely fine. And, you know, getting, people get mad at each other and people get into, big arguments and fights and that kind of stuff is fine. But I think sometimes I see some repetitive and very hurtful behavior um, that other folks have noticed as well. So I'm wondering about the lessons. Will they be uh, lecture type lessons or will they be activities where people are able to practice their slingit that they're learning? It'll probably be a combination of the two. So we're going to structure out like a number of different so we'll actually have titles to the lessons. So you can say, oh yeah, I want to go to that thing. I want to go to that thing. So 
but the title will the title say it's active or it's just sitting and listening oh yeah that's a good question because we're also going to look for people who want to teach them because, um, we want to make sure that those who can teach these things also have a chance to go into the the conversation time but yeah so it'd be good to get a variety of different and can people still sign up yeah of course I know. So. so if we're here, can we just show up? Or do you want everyone to sign up? I think it's good to sign up because then they'll know how much food to get and stuff like that. Where do you sign up? At, uh, that's a good question. Um, with Jill Meserve. Yeah. Jill Meserve at, at SHI. I can find the email. Oh, okay. It's on the SHI site. Okay. Yeah, let me see if it's on. I know it's in my email. Renee, uh, I, I got an email from Sea Alaska Heritage today saying we don't want to come because if you're not going to let us know because we're filled to capacity already in there, um, you know, they want to make sure that people have signed up really are going to come. Anyway, I just got that today. And this is, this is Jill's um, email is J I L L period M E S E R V E at C Alaska dot com. Okay. Yeah, it does look like it's full. Yeah, that's so yeah, if you go to their home page and then you go down to uh, Hashuka Voices of Our Ancestors, Languages, Sessions and Events. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I got there. So you click there, and then there's uh, upcoming language retreat. So there's the register button, but then it says, <laughs> is, that the, "Is that the same one that's going to be here?" Yeah. Oh, okay. But I think just email her and see. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we can. Does it say it's closed? She's saying that it's full right now, and that if you just sort of casually signed up, but you're not planning on coming, let her know so she can make sure that everybody who wants to come can come. Um, says our registration is currently at capacity, but I'm, I'm guessing you could probably email her and she'll tell you whether or not you should come anyhow. Yeah. I'll ask, I'll ask her tonight. Probably yes. <laughs> the university is over capacity. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah. It's more than UAS can hold. Could be in a way. Yeah, I mean, I, I think if we divide, if everybody's in the same space. Mm -hmm. And so maybe we just end up creating a third, you know, we divide the conversations into, I mean, there's, well, Chat and figure out. I think some of the Juno people, especially the beginners that are coming, will not be here for the entire duration. You know, at least with the Clinket Learners group, I said, please feel free to come for as much as you can. Mm -hmm. So they may have registered, but they may not be here for the entire time. You know, they can't give up three full days of time. So, I don't know. So some of those people that have registered may not be here the whole time, but. I'm sure Jill knows that. Yeah, well, say, hope is not lost. I, I, <laughs> we can get you in, I'm sure. So, okay, other uh, questions, things on your mind? Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, take five, and then we'll come back, and we'll do uh, something else. Ah. Yeah, the she was saying what day ah. they were doing it. Okay. So what we're talking about now is a couple of different things. One is we figured out that this Zoom connection is just kind of always open if folks want to use this as a way to study together, speak together, work together. And so I think what I'll do is I'm not very good at saying everybody email me and then I'll create this list. It just, but what I'll do is I'll create 
uh, a Google spreadsheet and I'll put the link on our page. And so that'll be on there tonight. You can click on there, put your name and your email address on there. That way we'll all have each other's email addresses. And then I'll try and think of, I and mean, it would be neat if there was just a way for us to set up, say, hey, I'm interested in setting up these study times. And so maybe I'll work with uh, Ms. Chun and see if she's interested in helping us coordinate some communications to, to make this, the study room is always there. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of making scheduling so that, oh yeah, this time works for me. Does this time work for other folks? Let's get together there uh, so that you have opportunities to just study together, talk together, do, do whatever you guys want to do in that Zoom area. Um, yeah, oh wow. I wonder if we could use the conversation, the chat function as sort of a bulletin board too. I mean, you could just go there anytime and see if anybody has something posted in the chat. I mean, they wouldn't get an immediate answer, mm -hmm. but that's another way. But if we have emails, that's better. Yeah, because I think the chat only picks up from the session that you saw. Oh, okay. It's not like you can sign on, then you'll see all this chat mm -hmm. stuff here. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and think of some other things. And we can also just sort of figure it out during our class time, too. If someone mm -hmm. says, hey, how about uh, Mondays at whatever? Hey, how about this time at whatever? So... And we might try to open it up Thursdays. Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30, we're doing a uh, gathering in 2.26 here. And I can always just bring the Zoom, bring this gear and just say, hey, if you guys want to sign in, we're going to try and just use that time to just talk in the language. And so uh, might be some lessons, but mostly just trying to talk to each other and stay in the language and practice that. Thursdays 2.30 to 4.30? Thursdays 3.30 to 4.30. Because we've been going in at 4. Oh, have you been going on at 4? Okay. 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 Good sheesh. Okay. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, time and just some other things and then just continuing to look at verbs and then making sure that we know. Because what we're what I'm trying to get us to is a point where we can go look these verbs up and use them, but then I want us to get to a point where we can actually just n not only recall these things, but learn a new verb and be able to put it into a whole bunch of different uses right away. And so we'll keep kind of going over this stuff, looking at different pictures of, and it's kind of just taking different angles of the same kind of stuff. And then, um, We'll probably start taking a look at your midterm translation exercise so I can walk you through some, some steps on how do you translate from Clinkit to English. Uh, what do you do when you encounter something and you don't know how to look it up? And so those are some things to make sure that you're not feeling isolated with any of these uh, assignments. Uh, okay, I would have gone. I see your chat. Yeah, so um, we'll just open the Zoom room Thursday, 3.30 to 4.30. So if that, if you guys are also using that, you can just join us and then we can just sort of have a conversation together and, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, any other thoughts on that kind of stuff? Gach to Zoom, okay. Uh, so let me ask you guys about a few of these things that you might see here on the screen. I don't know how to make we know how to make this pointer thing bigger? If you go into your find settings it. or somewhere in there, you, you, you can, <coughs> you have preferences. Yeah, maybe it's under... System preferences. Is it accessibility, maybe? Okay, there we go. Oh. Yay. Okay, now we're okay. okay. So this, uh, there's some phrases I put up here. Everybody say, Yende ya ya night luck. 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 
but they are yet and flock. And who can tell me what that translates to? What about Yawadlaq? Succeeding, right? Oh. So this verb can mean, it can mean to succeed or to defeat somebody, right? So you could say, we patriots has a Yawadlaq. We towe, I guess. Anyways, so this means it's in the process of happening right now. And this phrase, uh, was it a kuik? Ya akhuni, akhani, Dan Marino, awa, de kuiki. Was a achtu wunik, who owe a kanahoe hasahan. Ya akhani ka. One canines which in a ya at Yantis Gaiti. Yea, away ya has to can a yan, ya cock one ton. Shook nach at the cock the she a ya, a has our she has so has to two ya nick. Yea, away ya a shoe day ye has our she a cock sail to ease. Has to shut the honey. Connecte over it. Yende ya ya naitak. Yende ya ya naitak. A it aya de hunt for good. Ha, hunt can a neat das away ya ka. One naxaya. Tach tach toot aya. Connach oish to the nook. Clake ye eke. Ach in a cow Chuya, a keys chatunachaya of two waha. A kawe, we yun, it is a tea. Quash, we yak a tea. Kone ke uwe ik, as the case ke has in. Yan de ya yan a duck. Ditto was a good ik dain has a waha. Yeah, we were at a kuik for my friend Dan Marino. And it was really sad. And because uh, we used to we used to get into mischief together. And uh, the Tluknach Adi were singing their cry song. And everybody was sad. And, and they were getting near the end of it. And Herman Davis started yelling this phrase. And I came up to him afterwards. And I was like, tell, tell me what you were Tell me what you're saying. Tell me about it, because I could I could feel it when you're yelling, and he said it's like. And it means you all. Are on the verge of succeeding, and he says it's like we've been paddling through a storm, and then when you see the land, and you would, uh, someone might yell. The captain might yell this, to his nephews or whomever is paddling. And, and he's saying it because he's saying, just dig deep because we're almost there. <laughs> and so it was such a powerful phrase and such a wonderful thing to just see. It's more than just the grammar of how you put it together. But when, when you just keep learning this stuff, and it's a grind, but then someone's going to do something like that, and you're going to say, that's something really special happening right now. Mm -hmm. I could feel it, and I want to understand what the pieces are. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one is a little more straightforward. Yakuha. 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 Why is that? Dakunia kuzi ti gwashwe yakuha kutan. Yes, talk, talk, eat, put on. Yes, talk, talk, eat. Reason. Ye away, yakuha, ye do a sock. Talk, waha, 
winter has arrived. And so tuaha means the t for the time to come for it, right? That's why you say eat tuaha, it's your turn. Achit tuaha kshe, is it my turn? And then yach koha means it's, it just keeps arriving. That's what it really means. Yach koha means a season. Uh, and then this word, there's like three or four different ways. There's different ways to say this. So depending on where you're from, you might say yaki. Or you might say yagi. Yagi. Or you might say yagi. Yagi. It just depends on where you're from. Which is where? I think Yaki is sort of a more central middle of the Clinket country. And then it becomes Yagi, maybe in Angoon and southern Clinket and uh, Klukwan area. And it's Yagi in Teslin in the interior. I haven't fully figured, but that's, I, I'm, that's what I noticed. I haven't really mapped it all out. But. People here might know. Yeah, Yisakuga. Yeah, Yende Yaya Naitlak. That can be posted for, uh, that's a good inspirational phrase. Okay. Uh, anybody know why you'd say Yaki or Yagi or Yagi? And it's a dialect thing. I know in Day Sleen they say Yagi. It's Day. Well, it's Day, yeah, and there's just there's three ways. Why, there's, why they say it different? Yeah. Where they say it different was my question. Yeah. Where they say which one. Well, if it's location. I learned Yuggy Yi and then. Yuggy Yi, that's another one. Mm -hmm. And Clarence, we had a song that's uh, Yuggy Yi, and he said we sing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. And it's just a dialect thing. So there's Yuggy Yi, Yuggy, Yuggy, and Yuggy. Those are the four ways I know. And it's not really a right or wrong. It's just a yeah. dialect thing. If they told me, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, with the X, with the vowel in there. And so go by however, however your speakers are saying it. That's what you do. Uh, but that's a, Everybody else. That's a day. A month here. Yeah, what? This. 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 Month. This. 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 This, this, this month or a moon. Mm -hmm. And I was just going through these old raven stories, and this one, Kuchain, when he's talking about Raven and his uncle, and he starts off by saying, The moon was on the earth, and then it left the earth. Oh. And so the Yokistokek is another name for the moon. Uh, but this is also what we call it. So it's really interesting. I was kind of thinking, I was like, huh. Is that talking about like, I don't even know. So, but a dis is also a month. Uh, and so there are uh, 13 of them. And so we generally just adopt it into 12. So this is uh, Seek Dissy. So they all have names. And so it's good to just sort of use these in practice and then talk. Talk, 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 talk. Uh, and that's winter for a year. So talk can also be a verb root. Talk would mean to spend the winter somewhere, right? So like Arizona, away. <laughs> they spend their winter in Arizona. Hawaii, away, talk. <laughs> spend their winter in Hawaii. Right? This can also be a verb root in outlidis, and that's for the moon to shine. It's mooning out. <laughs> but yagi, I don't think can be a verb root, but you'll say yawahe or yawahi, which means for a day to pass. So this is the one we use for like days of the month. But it's also to say, I'm going to stay in Skagway for three days. Uh, uh, 
I stayed in Skagway for three days, right? Uh, and so it's for a day to pass. Today is Chinese New Year. Oh, yes, and it's the Lunar New Year, is that correct? Yeah, so this would be, this would be tied to the, I don't know how lunar calendars work, but this is how the lunar calendar would probably yeah. start for Shingen. Hmm. It's with the phases of the moon, with the oh. moon. Oh. Yeah, so you get this plane, mm -hmm. this shubu, and yis disi. Those are the three that, I, I don't know the other ones. I'm sure there, there were. Mm. Um, but I know there's waning and waxing, you could say that. And it makes sense because the tides. Yeah. You were tied to the tides. To yeah, because then you'll know you got a midday and midnight kind of a tide, and then it goes to, you know. Uh, so I was thinking, yeah, just thinking about this is something we could sort of start pushing ourselves towards is being able to say the month, the day of the month, the weather, when the high tide is going to be. I mean, that's, that would be something kind of interesting because I have a feeling that long time ago, I, I mean, they had to know. They had to just know that stuff because in Hawaii they do, uh, they do those things. They don't do the tide, but they do the moon phase. And so maybe that's something we'll figure out. And so uh, I'll sit down with some speakers. Maybe that's what, something we do during the immersion. We try to figure out if there were names for the phases of the moon, and if not, then we can kind of create them. Um, you know, we'll see. Okay. So I, we went over this before, but just sort of uh, to review. This is looking at uh, time in sort of a smaller scale, like in a matter of days. And this one is a larger scale. And just think about how do we think about time in, in Tlingit. And so location and time use a lot of the same types of things. So for example, uh, to say you are at a particular place, uh, so you'd say sheet kach, sheet kach yeti. So you would put the on there to mark where the place is. So that marker is being put on there. It's an X with an apostrophe. And you would do the same thing for time. So you could say, uh, We're going hunting on Thursday, right? And so that's the marker puts it into a specific time. Uh, it gets cold in the winter time. Right? And so that's that's something just also to say next day going home. And you can also say talk day. It's getting it's going towards winter or uh, you could say Ya Ya duck Sati ye dach, from the time I was a young man. And then it could sort of go from there. So time markers and location markers, they work the same. Uh, so this one, we sort of have phases of the day, and we'll sort of start there. So the daybreak, when, the, when it's dawning, you've got, um, we'll, do, we'll do the smaller one. Hey, ah. And if you are a southern Tlingit, probably in Tessin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seattle and the 
Oh, oh, what's she doing? I heard she had surgery and which hospital? Swedish. Oh, it, on uh, a good one. A and S sent the address. Uh huh. Oh, A and S kept sending did. Uh huh. Didn't want to send her a car. She's at Swedish, and, mm -hmm. and um, her husband's down there with her. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm there. So uh, Qi'a is the dawn, uh, so you see the Qi part is there, and that's referring to the daybreak, Qi, um, and then you get into morning, Tzutat, 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 Midday, Sitgausan, 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 and if you're in Dakha, Sit Gum San, Sit Gum San, Sit Gum San, Sit Gum San. And then when you get into when the sun is setting, so dusk, He ah, He ah, He ah, He ah, He ah, He Evening, Hana, 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 Hana. Khana. Khana. And then the night time. Taught. 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 And midnight. Taught sit gao san. Taught sit gao san. Taught sit gao san. Taught sit gao san. Taught sit gum san. Taught gum san. Taught sit gum san. And then tomorrow is Sekanin. 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 Or Sekan. And then yesterday, Tatke. 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 And so this is just sort of thinking about time. So why do we use the Sitgao San both at noon or midday? And at midnight, does it? Can we break that up into meaning yes. or not? Uh, I'll have to take a look at that. That's okay. a good question. But yeah, it is basically midday and midnight. Uh -huh. so it has to do with that. Uh, Gao in it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody know? Yeah, I'll see what I can find out. I'll let you know on Thursday. So then in, in some terms of like some larger time concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got a couple different ways. So uh, to talk about like kind of now, but more in the terms of nowadays, like mm -hmm. the current era, basically. Idat. 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 And you can say, ye uh, daddy, and then you could have something like ye daddy ku'u, the people of today. Ye daddy shingit ku'a, keshas au shuku kastu yu khatongi. The clinkets of today don't know their language, right? Uh, and so ye daddy would be the things of today. You could say ye daddy dach from now on, from now forth. Idati dach jaha yukhatangi in at kukwagud. From now on, I'll be walking around with our language. Right? So, yidati dach, like from this point forward. Right? So, this dach, and so it can work. Yidati day, that could work as well. Up until now, right? It can work that way as well. So, the yidat is sort of a general, this kind of current time. A more sort of focused way is yesu, 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 and that one is more closely. It's usually there's some verb that's right near it, and it's saying, and then now this thing happened, or uh, this thing is still happening, depending on kind of on context and how it's being used. Uh, and then for something to be before it. So 
the time before it would be ashukat 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 so that means literally in front of it so that could be a location thing in front of the boat in front of me but it could also be a time thing so you could say ashukat uh, han he or she is standing in front of me but i could say ashukat they finished eating before I did. So it could be time, it could be location. They tend to be kind of interchangeable. Mm -hmm. Then to say after, you could have, uh, there's multiple ways to say it, depending on sort of what we're talking about. Adach. 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 From that, right? So it's so there's maybe a little bit of more of like a cause and effect type of thing. Uh, he got all this money, and from that, he was really thought he was better than somebody. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you're gonna say. What's that? Kind of because it's sort of like this thing happened, and from that, this other thing kind of happened. Did the first thing cause the second thing? Sort of, but not not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's a it's a slight way. It's but if you want real cause and effect, you'd say "ach away," mm -hmm. and that's more like because of that. But this is more like therefore. Yeah. This is like therefore. No. Yep. Food chain. Yeah. From that, right? And it's, so from that would be a pretty literal translation. Itnach. 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 And you could also say it. And so a duck would literally mean from that. Like it's it's going away from that. It's going from that thing, from the house, from the whatever, from the lakeside. Itnach means to follow something. So it's a little bit of a different thing. It's like itchagut. I'm itchen chagut. I'm following you. So increase your stalker vocabulary. <laughs> right? But, follow me. You could command somebody, right? But it just means to go, to follow. So now you're just sort of doing a little bit more kind of sequencing. And it, it kind of depends on use. If you're saying, um, he went to get the, the money, and then from there he was able to go to the store, that might be adach, adach away. And if like he had to, she had to go pick up these three things in a certain order, and you know maybe that's part of a story. You know, and so that could be sort of a little bit different. And then aqa, 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 and that's and then, right? It's a pretty much just a straight and then. This is, these are really good to learn how to use to put narratives together because sometimes oh. this is something we need to do. And it's not always a big raven story or something. It's just like, let me tell you what happened the other day. We do a lot of that kind of stuff. Aqa mm -hmm. away is just a way to transition into some other thing. Mm -hmm. and it really means Aqa uh, is going going after something, not following, but like, I'm going to the store for rice. That's the qa. It's a little bit more. And then just sort of seeing, and as you sort of look at more clinket, uh, conversation, dialogue, stories, as you see these things, just think about how they're being kind of used. Winnie? Ah. So in my uh, Kate uh, Skashnik today, um, that's, I, I wanted to use itach, but I didn't really know. I thought it meant uh, after that, but I was guessing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, itach is uh, from following that. And so it works, as, it's a time sequence thing, right? And it's sort of like this thing led to this thing. Um, and you'll see that there's just, there's, there's just real subtle differences between them. But itnach uh, away would be like sometime following that.
And that would be, that works great. So what would have been a better one to use in my story after she plays out, then she's, uh, after that, she's tired, so she goes home and takes a rest. Maybe a dachowe. A dachowe. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, to say like something uh, made somebody tired, uh, the way that I was hearing Kahwan Ish say that, you could say, one Kalin, so a detki, where Ash cut the yet, a chi dach has with the hut. Sometimes kids get tired from playing. So a chi dach is, a, and it's just like it comes from its possession, right? And so it's a really neat way. And sometimes there's other ways that you can tie those things together. But that's one thing I was hearing pretty consistently from him when we we're doing these smaller translation exercises. Any other questions? Okay. So looking at this stuff, so here we are. Speak dissy. Speak dissy. Speak dissy. Speak dissy. Speak dissy. These are just some sort of daily language things like what day of the month is it? What day of the week is it? Those types of things. So, Wasa do a sock, ya dis. 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 Ik dissi you do a sock, ya dis. Dissi you do a sock, ya dis. Ik dissi you do a sock, ya dis. Ik dissi you do a sock, ya dis. Hunya gi sa ya dis. Hunya gi sa ya dis. Hunya gi sa ya dis. Kachun again? Kachin. 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 Yeah, 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 Kachin. Cheesh. Kachin ya gi ya wa chi ya dis. Kachin ya gi ya wa chi ya dis. Not yet. Almost. It's not. It's not over until it's over. Somewhere in the world. It's okay. Getting into the. I'm gonna. Walk we checks until the day after. <laughs> right. hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll just stick with the kitchen. <laughs> I think I'm going to overthink it. Uh, but then you could say, there are some ways you could do, like, so if we go back to here, if we want to say, uh, on the 16th of February, we're going to get together. Mm -hmm. Ya speak dissi. Jin kat kate du shu yaki yak kwa hi. Wush kanaka tu da art. Right? When, and so like once 15 days have passed, we're going to get together. Right? And so there, there are other ways to maybe, there might, we might find some shortcuts to this. Like if we just said "seek this aya, chin cut cut clay do shu." Maybe yagi. You just say sixteen days. I don't know. Not that. Work these calendar exercises out with our speakers and see what they say. Okay. So then you could say, "Un gao saya." Un gao saya. Un gao saya. <laughs> Did I have a flat tongue? Oops. A typo, I, yeah. And it's changed. So, khun gao saya would, what would the literal, what, what could that also mean? How many hours is it? How many, How many times? How many drums, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Which would, you know, if you're trying to ask what time it was and then they happen to have 
10 drums there. I went to Jin Kok. Oh. Yeah, right. so it's literally, it could be drum. How many bells are there? But usually in the context, when someone says, Kun Gao Saya, you don't start counting the drums. In the room. <laughs> just tell them what time it is. Right? So if you want to just stick to the hour, you could say, Daha Du Shu Gao Aya. And then for, uh, this is how Tashkawu explained counting to us. Okay. So, and I'm pretty sure this was how he counted. So he started with all five fingers up in the air. <laughs> and he dropped his chair and he said, Play. 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 Dech. 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 Natsk. 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 Kajin. Oops. Dachun. 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 Kajin. 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 K is upwards and Jin is a hand. Jin. And then, so Wushu means for something to extend. So he would say, Du wa shu. Somebody extends it, like their one arm, and then you say, Tlai du wa shu. You get Tlai du shu. Tlai du wa shu. You get Dacha du shu. Dacha du shu. Natska du shu. He told us it's because Gush Wu Shu. So I taught this to kids yesterday. I said, Gush Wu Shu. The thumb is smiling. That's where Gush comes from. Jin Kat. Your hands together. Two hands together. And then from there, jin kat kateg, jin kat, and then you can add with ka, and then you get up to jin kat ka gushuk. Now what comes next? Dech ka. Jin kat ka dech. No. One person. Play ka. Play ka. Play ka. One person with their ten fingers, ten toes. So then, and on and on. And then the current system goes by 10. So then it switches to Nask Jin Kat, Dakun Jin Kat, Ke Jin Jin Kat. Although there was an older counting system that always went by 20s. So then I think 30 would be Ke Ka Ka Jin Kat. And then 35, Ke Ka Ka Jin Kat Ka Ke Jin. And then seventy-five. Dech kat ka kejin. But if people count like that, I have to think because we were playing ninety-nine. We were playing the card game, and ka guask was counting ke ka nach by twenties. Like, <laughs> so, uh, and then another good exercise in Tlingit is counting. Uh, playing card games where you're counting, where you're adding things, because I find I found that uh, we were just count. We could count to ten really fast, but when we started playing cribbage and think it, it was we had to really think and adding things and going by groups. So counting by twos or threes or fours or fives, it's really good exercise. And then also just sort of reading numbers as you see them in and think it is also good exercise. Uh, so then you could say, uh, if it was 7.30. So a shuwu is a half. This shuwu, half moon. Uh, you could use winnets or willets, whatever you prefer. <laughs> so that could be dach du shu gao ka kle ka winnets. Uh, and then to be just after, so it's a little after seven o'clock, let's say. Dachadushu gao dach. 
dark cow de hit dach du shu cow dach dach cow de hit so cow de hit it's like to hit to hit a certain time because you could also say gout cow de hit aya means it's time because we said we were going to do this thing at five o'clock was well, five o'clock gout cow de hit so if it's 740 and I'm still lecturing about this gout cow de hit who cha day away she cut how day yeah kind of hit it's just it's just oops it is almost So it's heading towards that time. Right. So you could say, Oh, I guess that doesn't work. Let's say it was almost 8 o'clock, because I've been going way too long. It's, it's going towards 8 o'clock. So uh, I was working with Kaswut in Yakutat, and we were working on this sort of dividing it into quadrants. I'll have to find that illustration and show you guys. But let's close out by sort of talking about a verb to know things, right? And let's just sort of just take a different look at what this what these things are showing us when we look up a verb in the Yidati Shingitukatangi Kuku. The dictionaries of today, when we look things up, there's these different codes that we've been talking about. And what does this stuff show us? What do we have? Because you're going to reach a point where you can look at that, and now you'll know how to put it in every mode there, there is. You'll reach that point to say, she knows it, I know it, um, she's going to know it, uh, they know it, they don't know it. They don't know anything, right? And you'll be able to move it all around. But so we start to sort of look at these things and how they sort of, and, and what it's telling them. So the first thing is you see this thing, there's these tiny letters now and these tiny numbers, and then there's these root markers and other things. And we're just going to walk through what these things kind of are showing you. And we've done this before. But there's the O, the capital O and the capital S are saying, is there an object? Is there a subject? If there is one, you have to keep it in there. If there isn't one, you cannot put it in there. So it's sort of, it's built into the verb whether or not it's there. So it's something you have to look at that verb and know it because you, you don't want to drop that, that ah when it's there. <laughs> okay? So, uh, <coughs> so that's the thing where the O and the S are telling you. And so if you want the fancy terms for it, there's transitive, which means there's an object and a subject. There's object and transitive, which means there's only an object. Subject and transitive, where there's only a subject. And then impersonal, where there's neither an object or a subject. But you know, whether you want to know those terms or not, you just look for the O, the S, and you know you're looking at a certain list of pronouns that's going to go into that particular area. So transitive, it has that trans morphine, so like transportation, to get you from one place to another. So that's to clarify that term. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. And S does it. O is having it done to them. And it goes O, S, O, S. It always goes in that order. The S is always right next to the classifier. And the O is usually on the outside of the verb. Okay. So we'll see some examples of, of this too. But outside, you say it before the verb. Yeah. Yeah. That's that part of that outside of it, not the other outside. Yeah, yeah. So the object is usually one of the first things you're going to say. Okay. So the next thing is the classifier. So this is a, a lowercase letter, and you're going to see it as 
0, d plus 0, s, d plus s, l, d plus l, sh, d plus sh. And then, uh, and so this is going to tell you which group it's going to be in, right? And then from there, it's going to, the classifier can go plus i or minus i, and it only goes plus i when you're saying it has happened. So that's, that's, that's what the plus i minus i is. So it'll tell you which one you should expect it to be. So this one is an s, so it's going to be either s or s. It'll be si when, it, when they know it, and it'll be sa when they don't know it, okay? And we'll see those examples. Cool. The next thing it shows you is the root, and the root has meaning. So this ku has to do with knowing or learning facts. It's learning information, learning some kind of thing. It's not how to do something, it's just learning about the thing. Okay. Then you get to this little H, and there's a couple different ways that Clinkit, we like to mark what is the stem going to be like. Because you're going to have ku, ku, and ku. Those are your three possibilities. Long and high, long and low, short and high. There's three things that are going to combine to tell you what it's going to be. There's going to be the stem type, there's going to be the conjugation type, then there's going to be the verb mode. For example, in the future, it's going to be long and high. The future negative, it's going to be long and low. Right? So you say, uh, I'm going to know it. I'm not going to know it. Right, so high, low. This is something we'll start to just sort of look at, and then it's something you'll be able to predict at some point. Right? So does H always mean this particular set of <laughs> three vowel possibilities? The, the H tells you which one this is going to be in a certain mode. So basically, you have these different, what we call a stem type. So there's open, and then open would just be, it would just look like K-O-O, -O, with no H after it. It's open. K-O-O -O with the letter H means when we go into these certain repetitive forms, it's going to, it'll be low. That's the only thing that H is telling you. H tells you low. Yeah, in these certain repetitive forms, it'll stay low. Why was H selected for that? Uh, because a long, back in Tonga's Tlingit, it would be a <sighs> sound. And to get to that <sighs> sound, it would, it would push that vowel to stay. Well, actually, they didn't have tone. But the way that translates into uh, Tlingit today is it pushes it low. So they call it a fading stem, because it used to be there. OK. And we'll look at stem variation later. For now, like, you just look at that form, you just say, remember, it's kesh chosaku. It's short and high. I don't know. It's just short and high. That's all I know. <laughs> then they might have a homonym marker, means that there's another ku verb. Okay. It means something different. That's all, that's all that that's showing you. And some of them, like tan, there's a whole bunch of them. So. When you say it has a one, I mean, it could have two, three, four, mm -hmm. if you're looking in the dictionary, and then each one of those will sort themselves out. Yeah, and that's just showing you, like, that's the verb root, and there might be a different one, and, and it's just, okay. Okay, gout kau to hit I'll go through these ones really fast. We'll look at this again on Thursday. We'll start with that next time. Okay. Okay, we'll just pick up here. It's going fast. Next time. Yeah, oh, well. Drowned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Thursday we'll pick up here.
and then uh, we'll look at a couple of verbs and we'll, we'll translate the first few lines of the story that you guys have okay. just so that we're doing this as a group and you don't feel like you've got to start from scratch with this whole big okay. story. Okay, good night. 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 Good